So guys, so we were cold and we are about to uh, heave up the anchor and the winch can only be operated at first speed. We cannot heave up on the second speed and third speed. So we need to check what is the problem on the winch number one. So come and join me in this new plug. So after confirming that we do not have second speed and third speed in the local control, then I have decided to transfer the control onto the port side to see if we have the same condition. After that, they all have the same, which means that our problem is coming from our main control panel. It was so slow and we need to find out what is the main reason, so let's go to the bottom store. When I get into the control, I have decided to check first how much is the supplied voltage. For those who are following this channel, I am always doing the conventional way of checking. Regardless of what is the condition I am having or the trouble we have on every machineries, I always start in the supply voltage. Like in this case, I didn't even check the wiring diagram. I go straight to the control system, which is I am having only 22 volts DC. This only means that the voltage is not enough for our control. Hence, we need to replace this power supply unit. To ensure, I even asked to stop the operation and switch off the control panel and see what will be the condition and we have the same output voltage on our power supply hence i decided to go to the workshop and find a power supply i did not find the same power supply but i have found this substitute so we will use this one anyways it has input voltage of 220 volts and output voltage of 24 volts then I have decided to replace the power supply unit. After that, I calibrated it to ensure that I am having more than 24 volts, around 25.4 volts on our power supply output. Based on my experiences, I am always having the same situation with these winches. If I do not have this second speed and third speed in all the controls, it means that the control voltage is not enough. So after installing, I have decided to call the chief officer and try if we have now this second and third speed. Yeah. Yeah, now it's not up. Okay. Based on the sound of our winch, it means that we now have the second speed and the third speed and it was confirmed by the chief officer so now after we change the power supply we have now the second speed and third speed for the winch for the anchor winch So after that, we were able to heave up the anchor and proceeded to our schedule without any delay. So in this situation, 
I was again called by the crew, which is the M2 is not working on the starboard side. But the other controls are working. So I have let them to do their job using those controls and then I have decided to open this control on the starboard side. Again, based on my experiences, if we lose control on one of our controls, then the main cause is the cam switch, which means that sometimes the wires are being corroded. So I only remove the wirings and then I will play the handle so that we can loosen it up. It is also better to use contact cleaner. After that, everything went well. So they are now ready to prepare the lines prior to our arrival. The next troubleshooting is a common mistakes or an honest mistake coming from our crew. Sometimes they will call me and say that they cannot operate any of the controls and the winches is not responding and then only to find out the most common mistake that they are having. So for those who are new to this, so we have three controls. We have on the local. So this is the local control. So we will try it on the local control. They said that it is not working. So we will try. So it's on. So it's nothing. So we will try it on the other control. This is to ensure that if all the controls are not working, it means that there's problem with our main line or main control panel. But if only one control that is not working, then it should only be there. So this is the W2 and we're gonna switch it on. See, let's say in W1. That one is working as you can hear but here nothing nothing is happening okay so we will switch this one off and we will try it on the other side so we also have on the port side Sometimes the crew uh, is having uh, this um, honest mistake wherein they thought that it's not working but one of them, the you see that one emergency stop. So after releasing that emergency stop, everything went well. Getting on time in the port is very important to the shipping industry that is why this winches is very important in every operations that is why as a piece of advice better to study the wiring diagrams and the setup that you have on board so that you will not get lost whenever you have trouble with your winches because sometimes the condition will really affect the operation of the vessel this might delay the arrival and departure of the vessel in the port of destination. And if this happens, this will also affect the delivery of this billion dollars worth of cargoes. Just in this port alone, we have discharged 4,000 plus containers on board. As you can see, we almost emptied our vessel this means money to the company so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you